What's up, guys? It's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with my first personal custom. Um, I say that I customized it. I added the wings to Goku's back. But what I did not do is I did not come up with this idea. I do not know the original source. But this was posted in multiple groups. Multiple people were doing it. Um, it is using... Let me get the name quick. The roast chicken wing set that originally could be found on BBTS that is no longer available. Um, and I'm going to go over my customization process for you guys so you guys can either replicate it or, you know, just pass on the information. Um, I do plan on trying to sell a couple of these and I may give one away on a giveaway. Um, it's fairly easy to do, but so is changing your oil and people still pay for that. So I figure I'd give you guys both the information to do it yourself and the ability to purchase it. If you would like to, you can comment and I have them available and can make them for you guys. Granted, I only have a couple Goku bodies left, but I will have some more in the future. So this is an SRE Goku. And what I did is I could have a flat open hand like he does in the anime as he's flying away with these wings in the post credit scene of one of the DBZ episodes after he dies. I'm not sure if it's when he kills Cell and he's doing the back of Shenron. I don't remember where it's from. And I apologize for that. Can't quote what episode. But what I didn't want to do is... Uh, get people's hopes up that you can take this and make it in any other way than you can with the regular figure. So I have all SRE ROE parts where you would only need the wings. Now you can do things like add a halo, which you can get from fourth form Frieza or the target exclusive Frieza. I'm pretty sure comes with one, which is a fairly cheap Frieza to pick up in order to get a halo from it in order to drill out a hole to put in his head. So how I did this, and I, I didn't mark or measure, um, so they are very, very slightly off. I have a pretty good eye for it, but as you can see on the back, they are probably just a centimeter. This one's a centimeter higher. And it doesn't really affect. Once it's posed, um, it doesn't really affect it. But what I did is I drew, drilled out pilot holes for the holes for the wings on the back and the reason i went this route is i did not want to glue them in and which would then ruin the articulation you get out of the wings so as long as i don't use glue i get that articulation now they look fairly similar which is this is how i originally glued it on as you can see they're almost identical there that was the goal i had in mind now let's turn them around. Look at those wings. They look great. And the good thing about it is unlike some of the uh, you know Super Saiyan 3 heads that I have reviewed, they are so incredibly light that Goku can stand in almost any pose without them affecting him at all. Look how well he stands. I can put him in a straight standing up pose. I don't even have to lean him forward. These wings are so light. That he stands up perfectly fine. Very light plastic. Um, they are a model kit style wing, so you have to put them together. But once you get them together, there's instructions. It's fairly easy. All you do is you put them entirely together. As It's a three-wing set. So you'll get three wings, and that's to go on a figure that has three wings. You can customize figures in any way you choose, and maybe put all three wings onto some. But with this, you customize it down until you have to plug it into the adapter for all three wings. And you just put your drill your pilot holes. Again, I drilled my pilot holes out, and I did not want to use glue. So then I used a drill bit and a screwdriver, uh, Phillips. That was to make the opening a little rounder so the fit would fit in. So 
You can also sand down the start of the peg on the wings, and that's just so you can push it in a little bit, just so it gets into the back, okay? Then I heated up the wings, and I got it, I kept on drilling out, drilling out, drilling out, just to where it felt like it was going to go in, but it didn't. Then I dipped the wings in water, you know, I put a glass of uh, water in a, in a coffee mug for a minute, it wasn't hot enough. I put it in another minute. Maybe go a minute and a half because it cooled down after I did it. Do a minute and a half. Um, I cracked the torso. So I had the back open. You do not have to do that, but I want it to be a little more precise. And then I glued the torso back together. Um, and I wanted to see how far the peg came through. And that way, if I wanted to, I could actually apply the glue to the inside of the body. Now to crack the torso, you just turn it right here at the waist. It'll pop off at the sides and you apply pressure. It could break the pegs. That's not relevant. Um, you get some light applied glue or figure or model glue, and you can just put it into the peg holes and then squeeze together. And I have absolutely almost no uh, glue residue showing. Now, the only issue I ran into is, for whatever reason, the top part there did not want to go. Maybe I didn't screw the screw that goes into the uh, back all the way in so it enabled it to have that little bit of gap but if you look really close on camera you see it but as soon as you get them a little far away in any of these poses you can hardly that's how close it's supposed to be together and even then it has just a slight gap at the neck so it's not that big of a deal um but i mean look at that guys awesome angel goku you can have for yourself drill out the holes put in water leave it there for two minutes Take the pegs, push it into the back with force. If it doesn't go through, heat it up again. Um, and that is only if you want that articulation out of the wings. If you want it to be able to go up and down from this peg in the back, then you don't want to glue it. So you just want to make that hole just smaller than the peg hole. Heat it up so the plastic's malleable. Get it in there, and then it's going to enable articulation. It's no different than what the figure actually uses here. As you see, that plugs in. It's not a joint. It doesn't stay. But it articulates. It's just big enough to fit that peg hole in and big enough to get movement out. Now, the only issue you're going to come across is this wing was a little bigger. It'll, it'll go down further. So this hole was a little bigger than that one. If I shake it around, it, it eases down a little bit. But it'll hold poses. I mean, look at that. And then here is the articulation you can get out of the wings. Check this out. You know, covering himself up. And it fell apart. That was for me pulling it apart. I didn't have it pegged in all the way. Just a awesome idea. I, if you guys know who to credit for the original idea of this, please post that in the comments. And I apologize. I do not know. But look at that. Angel Goku. Just like figure arts teased years ago, you can now make fires yourself by getting the roast chicken wings set. Again, it's sold out on BPTS. Um, if you just Google RCW wings set, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. I found it. That place has sold out. I think it was the original retailer. I do not remember. Um, but it's really that simple. And it just looks awesome. Now you can have your Angel Goku. And one more little drill hole in top of the head. Throw a halo in there. You got it just like the anime. Steal a completely open-palmed energy attack hand from one of your other Gokus. And you can do the pose you see post credit scenes. in Or while the uh, uh, credits are rolling. And Goku flies by. Raises his hand up. You can do that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content from me as I release it, please subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, see ya.